Okay, Dr. Metter is here. Let's look at the next little assignment we have to do in the lab project section. You'll look and it'll show you that you have to do lab 2-2. Two -two. Okay, I'm going to minimize this window. And if you look at lab 2-2, two -two, remember you'll in this assignment in lab 2-2, two -two, what will occur is that you will do, I'll, I'll read it for you, part of it. Activity 2-2. Two at the end of chapter 2, page 79, and that in the um, Addison book by Paul Addison, you have the sales figures for the four quarters in 2010 for Bennett Auto used sales, used auto sales. And you're designing a program that asks for the sales figures, calculates the total sales for the year, and calculates and displays the average of the four. The denominator is going to be four. Using pseudocode, develop an algorithm to solve the problem. Include standard documentation and comments, then convert the pseudocode to JavaScript. You've got two, 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 one, two, TWO things to submit. Save your pseudocode in, H in, in Notepad as autosalesstats.txt and your JavaScript code as autosalesstats.html. Okay. Um, let's pretend that. Let's take a look at this for a minute, and that you've got, I've got the two of them up here. Let's look at the one on the left first. All right, this is some pseudocode for completing this. Again, you've got your comments, you've got your start, and you've got your stop. You're going to have your declaration of variables. This is similar to one we've seen before. You're going to have your comments, so you're going to declare. Remember, you've got how many quarters? Four quarters in a year, so it's for 2010. That's fine. So you're going to have, have, have to have four quarters you're going to have to get data for. They're going to be input. I'm only doing one set here. Hint, hint. You may have to fix that and include, you know, sales for the second, third, and fourth quarter. So you'd have a similar entry. Hint, hint. I'm going to let you figure this out because this is a graded assignment. This is part of it. This is something to help guide you. Okay? And so what you're going to have to do is to um, enter the four. Okay, then turn around. Once you get the four entered, this is pseudocode. This won't run. You're going to have to get in the, um, do the computations, which is going to be, you're going to have to get two things here. You're going to have to get the sum of all the quarters. Maybe that. Uh, and then you're going to have to get the average of that, which is the total divided by four, and then display the values. Again, that will be displayed in quotes, literally. So it'll say 2010 total sales colon space dollar symbol. The plus symbol here is not adding, it is concatenating, joining together, stringing the text together. And it will put total sales, um, whatever you calculate. I haven't done that calculation, you'll have to do that. Right here, that value, and the same for quarterly average, and then be finished. Okay. Now the pseudocode, to continue. Um, this on the left is the, job, is the pseudocode. Now on the right, I'm going to show you part of the JavaScript. Let's, let's break down this. this. These two parallel one another. Okay? But this is pseudocode on the left and this is JavaScript code on the right. So um, you can kind of see, you're going to have to submit two of them here, right? Just FYI. So let's talk about a couple of things that are important here that are different. First, you're going to have to, and you can read chapter two in the book, it talks about these HTML tags. You're going to have embedded HTML with inside of the JavaScript. Okay? or within your text document. So this is JavaScript embedded in HTML. So really this up here where it says the, these are tags less than HTML greater than and H, then body and then script. You're saying this is the HTML code. Here's the body of it and that goes all the way down until it sees body right there. When it says HTML at the top and then slash HTML at the bottom, this one ends it. Okay. So this is real code. Comments. I got some variables for the four quarters. All right, total sales, quarterly average. Now this is interesting. ES, BR, and PA, these are considered constants because we're defining them and setting them equal to something. So ES is for empty string, we'll talk about that. BR is for HTML page break, which lets you have a new line, of, like pressing enter when you actually type stuff in. That's what it's gonna do on the display statement right down here. And then PA is for paragraph. These are two elastic or HTML codes as it states. All right, so you're going to welcome the user. Now instead of display over here, we would have document.write. So that's the equivalent in essence. So it's going to display literally in quotes, Bennett Auto Sales Report, and it's going to add, not add, it's going to put the afterwards, 
concatenate, if you will, that's what it's doing, a, a page break, paragraph break. So it's going to paragraph break. Then it's going to prompt the user for the quarterly sales. Now let's look at these right here. The first one, this is kind of analogous to this over here in the pseudocode. All right. So these two really parallel these two. When you quarter one is defined up here. When you say quarter one equals prompt, it's going to prompt the user to enter the quarterly sales on the screen. That will literally display on the screen, and then ES is empty string. It's going to get a, it's going to put a blank value in there for the default value for the for the quarter one. When the user enters in something like twenty, the prompt quarter one is going to be holding the value twenty. And then the empty string right there is used for a default. That's in the book, so just go back and double check it. It's used so because if we don't put something in there, it'll default to something we don't want. And you want a blank value in there. So when you so at first, it, you want to have the prompt's going to have nothing in there because we do empty string. And then when we put the value in there, it's going to be quarter one is going to be equal to the value that entered, is entered in at the prompt. Notice the semicolons are out here. They're important. Semicolons are at the end of these. Okay. So it's like periods of the end of our sentences. They don't have to have them on comments because those aren't calculated. Those aren't processed by the by the JavaScript interpreter. Now, once we here's something you need to be aware of in JavaScript, a value is treated even a number is treated as text. We can't do any calculations on text. So what we have to do is say quarter one equals to parse float in parentheses quarter one. Parse float is a function like parse int. This is in the book. Parse int, int for integer, will turn quarter one into an integer. Parse float will turn it into a decimal called a floating point decimal. Now, you're going to have to populate this three other times for quarter two, three, and four. Now, once you get those values, you're going to have to do a calculation in here, which I haven't shown you. I'm going to let you figure that part out. You're going to have to add them up and then get the values, right? And then add them up, add up to get the quarter. The total sales, and then add divide by that divide by four to get the quarter average, and then you're going to display those with documents that right, and then you're going to be off and running. All right. Now I'm going to save this. So what you do is you first you start off with a no, no document in there, right? You're going to type all your stuff, right? Or you could use one of the other templates that I've given you out there in the samples. I'm going to save it as we'll say version, you know, the T1 for testing one, but I got to save it as .html. All right. Notice I save it as .html. Then I'm going to open up the disk over here. I'm going to open up the file, and you see where it says the HTML. I'm going to run that. Double click it. All right. Hang on a minute. Try to navigate my window. And you may see something that says allow block content. Yes. This is quarter say at one sale. So I'm going to put in a four in there, a five, and then a three, and then a six, and then a nine, and there it displays them and takes my average. Okay? I actually ran the other one. So that's actually the what you'd see the run how it how it's running. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back over here. That's the actual real one running. I'm going to show you the one I created a minute ago, this one, and run that one. The, the one I showed you a minute ago was the actual run that run one that runs. Okay. So this is the test one, the temp, the, the one I created, which is only going to put in quarter one. Boom! It doesn't do anything else. I'm going to run it again. Press F5 to run it. When I run it, you see how it says inner quarter sales for, you know, right now there's nothing in here. If you don't put empty string, it'll put something, it'll put some bogus stuff in there. So it's not working properly because it's not complete. All right. But this gives you enough to get started. Thank you. We're done.